Yo, what up is done. Sammy Lee here. Soul Brothers back up in it. Performance yes. review. UA Under Armour Spawn Anatomic Spawn Three. Yes. It's a trilogy. This one here. Yeah. So there's a one and there's a two. So I guess this is a three. I don't know. But this is 110 bucks. I was super excited to play these because I like the original shoe. Um, so let's get it started off with the Traccione's. Mm -hmm. So this is the weirdest traction pattern I've ever seen. I would say so, yeah. yeah it, it's pretty nuts. Yeah, so you have really, really deep grooves, very, very long rubber that comes up. And also it's just, I guess, like curvy lines. <laughs> and this one is a fully translucent, yeah. pretty damn translucent with some speckles in it. Exactly. And super soft. Yeah, very, very soft very pliable so i yeah durability does not seem good i mean there is there are some chunks that ripped off and there is a little bit of frame as well so durability doesn't seem like it's going to be the best then that's just from indoor use so definitely don't play with these outdoors i feel like if you play with these outdoors it's just you're gonna have chunks just ripping off you know but um on a clean court you're going to be stopping on a dime Ooh. as a crazy crazy hard bite um, so you're gonna be good to go on clean courts. On a dusty court, uh, the, the rubber is pretty spaced apart, so it doesn't really trap dust. I feel like having the, the rubber come up this much kind of does makes it so that dust doesn't affect it as much. Yeah, here, you know look at here, you see this, it's ripped. Oh, it did. Oh, shit. There's a groove that kind of started to rip off. Yeah. I'm not oh, sure wow. if it's just a defect, but it's definitely there. Yeah, um, but yeah, so on dust, I didn't really notice any drawbacks in performance for like on dust. You right. Know so it was really good on dust. And if, if it was really dirty, I just kind of like did a light wipe and it was good to go. So yeah, overall traction is really, really nice. Just the durability is not there. And also another thing is like, one thing that I did notice is that it like kind of flips over. It's, you know what I'm saying? It's really weird. Yeah, the, the, the tread is so deep that it folds over itself. Yeah. You, you can definitely feel that. When I was just standing around, you know, kind of walking, I felt it and it was kind of annoying. Just very, very minor gripe. And when you start playing and stuff like that, you kind of, you, know, you, forget, you forget about it. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, just wanted to mention that, but there's that. Moving on to the cushion. Micro G. Micro G. The infamous. Yes, so uh, it, it is, it feels a little bit different than the clutch fit drives and the original anatomics. Like it, it feels a lot stiffer, you know? I don't know if it's a carrier or something, but it feels a little different for some reason. I mean, it's pretty firm to the touch. Exactly, but... Right. Um, Doesn't feel like anything special. Yeah, there are a good amount of compression marks and Heel compression, there's a little bit, there's a good amount of heel compression, you know, for, especially for heel strikes. It feels nice. It's it's slightly bouncy, you know, just a little bit of bounce, but I'd say it's more of like, you know, there's there's a good amount of compression and it's really soft. You know, in the heel, it's soft and also in the forefoot, I can feel it and it's actually pretty soft, you know, so uh, impact protection is really good, but court feel also is really good as well. Uh, also really responsive like it's if, if you're you know just a guard and you want like a really responsive uh cushion but also to have a very good impact protection and also kind of soft and slightly bouncy then this is the go-to cushion and you know I, i'm that guy you know that's what that, that's what i prefer so uh yeah i really like the cushion setup uh so uh, moving on to the materials Ooh, uh interesting got a, got a got a few different things going on here yes right, you have this mesh running through most of the upper yes and then you got like this like almost screen material yeah. that's kind of overlaid in certain areas and then that's overlaid with yes. some type of like opaque uh synthetic yes pretty thin uh, although you know those synthetic pieces are pretty thin very very thin yeah but it does add a lot of support and also adds for durability as well like you know like some shoes, I don't understand why you have shrouds because you don't need all that you know, material over the toe. You just kind of need it for toe drags. But if you have that shroud in, in, in the toe, it kind of does affects like, uh, what do you call it? The, the flex yeah. in, in, in the forefoot. But they just keep it, you know, just, just the foam back mesh. You know, very, very soft, very, very pliable as well. They just add a little bit of, you know, synthetic here in the toe. And also on the lateral and medial side. So, uh, like, definitely doesn't feel the most premium, you know, in hand. But on foot, it feels great. It's soft. It's supportive and all that. So, uh, materials are pretty good. Tongue also is very comfortable as well. 
pretty padded. So uh, there's that. Um, fit? Moving on to the fit. Uh, I don't know what it is. I feel like maybe the companies have changed their last or my foot shrunk or something. But I feel the same way. Yeah, so uh, I went down half a size and it's a good fit for me. So I would suggest going down half a size. Uh, but like in all my other Under Armour shoes that I used to get, uh, it's it's all, I'm, I'm a seven and a half. So I don't know what, what's going on. But yeah, lengthwise, I would suggest going down half a size. Width wise, I would say it's more of a normal width. I mean, if, if you're a wide footer, I, I think you should be okay if you go up half a size. You know, not, not the most narrow fitting shoe, which is good. So, um, but yeah, fit is nice. Uh, it's pretty easy to put on. You know, not you can't just slide it on like uh, a lot of basketball shoes nowadays, which kind of sucks. Yeah, you have like a full tongue. It's not like uh, the new school stretchy one booty upper. Yeah. So you might have to pop the laces open, right? Yeah, Get but in there. not a huge deal. Yeah. yeah. Uh, support and lockdown. Very nice. Ooh. No, you're lateral... you this interesting lacing system. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, the the lacing system is nice. It does basically go through the upper, but it, it, in the forefoot, it like it's really wide. So if you tighten it up really tight, you can feel it tighten up a lot, especially in the forefoot. So if it is a little wide out, if you have a super narrow foot and the fit is a little wide, you can just tighten that up and that'll fix the fit right up. But you do have the rubber coming up here on the lateral side and also you have the cushion coming up, you know, on the, I guess kind of like at the heel. Yeah, so for a little bit of lateral occasion, yeah. which will help keep you in there. Exactly, so I didn't have any problems with lateral occasion. I did have problems with uh, my toe, my pinky toe being onto this, mm -hmm. this rubber piece. So it did kind of hurt like for the first day or two, but it broke in nicely, so I didn't really have any problems with that. Uh, but yeah, lateral, uh, lateral containment is good. It is a low mid, mid low. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, if you're looking for ankle restriction, you're not gonna get it here. But it, it is a pretty wide base, so I felt laterally stable, so you should be okay uh, for that. So yeah, a support and lockdown is really, really nice. Mm -hmm. All right, touching on weight, I feel pretty light. Yes, 11.25 ounces, that is super light. Yeah. Very, very light, very minimal feeling shoe, and also very responsive as well. Just overall comfort, if you're just ca casually wearing these, yeah, you, the cushion is really soft, very comfortable, and the upper is very soft as well. So yeah, these should be a very comfortable shoe to just casually walk around in. Breaking time and he's ready to go out of the box. Yeah, yeah, uh, ready to go out the box. Nothing to break in, like it's, it, there's nothing pinching. It's not stiff really at all. I guess there is, that needs to break in. Uh, that needed to break in for me, but other yeah. than that, that's, that's about it, so. Okay, um, durability? Durability feels like it's gonna suck. The, the rubber doesn't feel very durable and also this foam back mesh, even though there is a lot of overlays, I feel like it's just not very, very durable, you know? Yeah. So. Okay, uh, ventilation? Ventilation is good, especially in toe. You have like some slits in the foam back mesh. So mm -hmm. I feel like that promotes airflow. So uh, yeah, ventilation wasn't bad. Aesthetics. Aesthetics, uh, yeah. uh, it's okay. I mean, on foot, it looks a little bit better. Yeah, you know. Yeah. I, I like yeah. this colorway too. Yeah. Not the coolest looking shoe ever, but it's okay. Yeah. Wrapping things up, 110 bucks. That's basically a budget model. Uh, besides the durability, I, I don't think durability is very good. And I don't think it's, it's a shoe that's gonna last like a long time, but it's a really nice shoe to play in. You know, the cushion is very soft, balls are responsive, traction is really good, materials are pretty nice uh, and soft, and fit is good for me. So yeah, overall a solid, solid performer, and especially for the price, you should definitely go ahead and cop. The only thing I, I, I don't think uh, people will like is the aesthetics, mm -hmm. but other than that, if you want a good performer for a cheap price, definitely go ahead and cop. The anatomic spawn so uh if you guys want to cop we'll leave a link in the description box uh it is soul brothers recommended thank you guys for watching we'll see you guys next one later peace